Hello everybody and welcome to Urgu's Tavern. Today's topic is going to be about theorizing about what do I think is going to be on Broken Realms Bullet Core. As you see I have pulled up one of the articles that came out on the 13th of April which was three days ago as, as to the day of recording this video. I'm a little bit late but I was trying to uh, just come up with uh, how do I make this connection to my theories and I believe I have done something and so yeah today we're gonna be talking about this uh, article and what do I think is gonna be happening um, the seven reasons Bellacor doesn't have any friends um, amazing artwork here it's just uh, pretty amazing uh, it just makes him look very imposing very intimidating it's, it's pretty cool the uh, the games workshop uh, artist team have uh, done uh, an amazing job here and so yeah here if you know about Bellacor and what he has been through since the Warhammer Fantasy um, you would know that basically his entire gist is about that he wants to have all the power but he's always forced to crown the next ever chosen and that just humiliates him and that goes to the very first because ever since he fought things that he hates is the people who tell him what to do is basically talking about that about how the chaos gods have used them so many times and he just hates it that people tell him what to do when he wants to be the boss he wants to be the guy telling people what to do because that is what he feels his position should be he basically should be a god so he really hates that um, that's um, not much theorizing I can do there I'm pretty sure the entire book is gonna talk about his inner workings as to his inner plans as they've mentioned before as to what actually his main goal has been and what he has been up to this whole time and the second thing would be that he hates uh, Archeon because Archeon is the current ever chosen and he just he has the power that he wishes to have so I'm pretty sure it's gonna talk about we're also gonna find out what exactly Archeon has been doing this whole time at across the Mortak for the Osiak Bone Reapers and he basically just uh, bashed him and uh, sent them back to to uh, Shaish uh, uh, we have no idea what exactly he's been doing in his uh, fortress and as we all know Archeon does not do things without a purpose so I'm pretty sure he's been silent for a reason and I'm pretty sure in this book they're gonna talk about what he has been up to but the thing that gets me more excited as to exactly why they mentioned him is Malarian uh, we know very little as to what exactly has been on going on with Malarian and I I am one of those people who hence my channel Olgu's uh, Tavern I would love to know I'm a fan of the Dark Elves and it is uh, something that has been bugging me as to what exactly he has been up to because we have we know next to nothing as to Malaria's plans we know bits and pieces we know that uh, certainly he has been active uh, in the Broken Realms books if you've been catching up to them he gets slightly referenced like at the very end of Morathi when uh, a creature that clearly comes it's one of his subordinates frees the Stormcast uh, Lord Vrak I think he's called I don't remember what he was called but when he gets freed it I believe it's by one of the creatures that belongs to Malarian or whatever the dark elves are in get up um, being called here in, in Age of Sigmar because I feel like they mention him a little bit too much and I think it's gearing up for for finally releasing the Dark Elves version in Age of Sigmar and or at least to know what exactly Malarian has been doing because I believe I don't believe that uh, Morathi is the perfect the the representation for Age of Sigmar's uh, take on the Dark Elves 
uh, so I feel like they they mention him for a reason. I I I'm, I'm hoping and I'm wishing that they do talk about what exactly he has been doing. Also, because it does mention that Belakor is the shadow master in the place that has all the shadows is the realm of Ulgu, and Malarian is the ruler of Ulgu. So maybe he's gonna try to fight against the. Uh, Malarian, since we know um, we know Slanesh is uh, in there because uh, well the the Kida Knights of Slanesh are there because they believe that Slanesh is there, so maybe he'll take advantage of uh, the Slanesh army and use it to maybe take over Ulgu, which I don't think is gonna be possible because heck my boy Malarian is there, so hopefully we get a review as to what is going on with Malarian and my second favorite faction in the entire Age of Sigmar are the Seraphons because I'm always a fan of dinosaurs, riding dinosaurs hell yeah so the Seraphons get mentioned and this is very kick-ass uh, artwork could be a poster if it was a poster totally buy it but yes um, they have uh, released some of the Broken Realms box sets as to this, which is it's a pretty good deal if they do end up selling it as the other Broken Realms box sets, which here in France was uh, 80 euros. So basically you're getting either the Bastillion or the Stegadon for free, depending on how you want to look at it. But either way, you're getting one of them for free. But also maybe this is hinting as to future Seraphon model updates because we as we all know they're due for an update like my boy here Lord Croak in the middle right here he's finally getting an update so hopefully that also means their other lineups are getting updates also in the in Underworlds they got a new warband with updated skinks and updated chameleons which the chameleon looks amazing and uh, also the Seraphon so hopefully hopefully they do uh, they do bring that up and uh, also maybe this is hinting into a possible third edition uh, launch because uh, since they're gearing up to I'm pretty sure at the end, the conclusion of the of this saga that has been going on between in the Broken Realms, I'm pretty sure it's gonna end up with third edition being released. I'm pretty sure that is what uh, is leading up to since since uh, suddenly they sp sped up the the process of releasing the the Broken Realm book. So I'm pretty sure that is what's gonna happen. And uh, I'm pretty sure the other side, since there's always an order versus, uh, you know, destruction or the vil or death or chaos box set, and we already had chaos and then death, and I'm pretty sure the next one is going to be destruction, and that leads me to the next point. I'm gonna skip through Lady Olinda here, but for him. Uh, we have uh, Kortrog. If you have been following some of the short stories or some of the books, uh, oops, we have here the Broken Realms in the Deep and Dark Mountain. Uh, it is basically talking about uh, how Kortrog is just gearing up for a big war. It is basically what it is. The big ginormous war of Sansa Behemoth, the Oryk War Clans, the Gloomspike Gids, and and also the Ogremore tribes. They're all just uh, they're gearing up for something and they're going somewhere and that leads me to the fourth book that they announced which was Broken Realms Kragnos. Um, I do have it pulled up here, which is this. I have the picture of uh, what we believe is to be Kragnos himself. And actually, I found 
the one of the rumor engines that basically shows this little tiny part here which is this one right here and that does tell me that I think we're gearing up for destruction because there has been rumblings in mountains in most uh, in some of the books in some of the um, black light ray books and also in the short stories something's been rumbling in, in the mountains and he does say that he has risen up on the mountain and also this design does look eerily similar to the Ogremore tribes like this jumbo guy here um, his uh, little tummy shield here with his little horns it kind of does like ha like that um, but more like a godly version since you know God needs to be more clean so I am pretty sure that he does belong to destruction and actually the destruction factions need a god representation in the model range so I think uh, Kraknos will be part of destruction and I think the and I think the third edition is gonna launch with uh, either maybe Seraphon against uh, against uh, some chaos some not chaos I'm sorry some destruction some destruction site either from like a big wall maybe they're gearing up to make a like a big wall faction which will be highly interesting because uh, that way you can mix and match everything that you have from ogres to gloom spy gets kind of like how it was in the in the old world in the world that was so it would be pretty interesting and maybe maybe they will release it with uh, the great wall and whatever Malerian turns out to be whatever his uh, faction turns out to be called because as we know Malerian is part of the order since the, the, he did fight with Sigmar so we'll see and as for Lady Olinder um, I think Belakor being the sneaky the sneaky guy he is I think he's gonna tell Lady Olinder that you know they have the similar they have a similar target so why not work together even though they hate each even though they don't like each other Belakor is gonna find a way to use it for his own gain and at the very end he's probably going to betray her but I think he's just using her because he knows that taking Archeon by himself is it's not a good idea for him so I'm pretty sure he's just uh, using her kind of like cannon fodder and he'll go at the very last minute kind of like how Marathi was sneaky on the way how she became a goddess and the last thing is basically about the and the last thing is basically about all the chaos stuff that you know he's he uh, doesn't like how he's been manipulated by the gods as I said he just I think I'm gonna end my video with this because uh, that looks just dope no actually I'm just gonna end it with with Archeon, with, um, I mean, Belacor himself here, but yes, um, um, so, I believe that this book is gonna tease lots of stuff that maybe are gonna lead to Bella to Kragnos, and in Kragnos we're gonna get the big ending, I don't think there's gonna be a fifth book, if not they would have announced it, because I think they're gearing up for a summer release for third edition, so, that's my thoughts guys um, I do believe that we're gonna get some hints as to Malarian as to what he's been going on maybe future Seraphon releases in third edition I think it's gonna be something destruction against order uh, that is what at least the vibe that I get from from this article as to it's pretty interesting as to the way they, they released it especially mentioning uh, the green skins the, well, the orcs as they're called and mentioning Malarian himself that basically what raises my eyebrows to why suddenly mentioning those things but yeah guys those are my thoughts um, 
I will be picking this up and I will be reviewing it soon. I will be releasing a summary of uh, Broken Realms Marathi and Broken Realms Techless just to catch up the new people who want to start on the Broken Realms so they can know what's been going on. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. Uh, what do you think about what I said? Um, and uh, yeah, share your share your comments, share your your thoughts, your theories as to what do you think is is gonna be happening in this book, and if you think uh, third edition is right around the corner, and third edition might be something destruction based. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to give a thumbs up. And yeah, share the hobby love.